All right, so I have two Trident LDO Trident 300 boxes. They're both slightly different. They're both have about 5,000 hours roughly. Some, I think one has more, one has less, but by maybe 200 hours. So I'm just gonna tell you the differences in them and kind of explain, you know, what mods might be good for this, okay? So none of these, none of my printers run sensorless. So that's number one, I, I don't run sensorless. I like the switch. It makes me feel good about myself. Make sure the reliability. So this one's got the Rama Eilers, front Eilers. It's running Zoll with a Sherpa Mini. It also has the pin mod. Um, as you can see, I have the umbilical. I'm also running a cartographer, um, beacon and cartographer are interchangeable in my brain. Uh, so it goes back to, let's see if we get a better view. Uh, I got the galvanic in it to hold that up. Um, and then the wires obviously go back to the back. I have a Y end stop mod that I put in. Let's see if we can see that right here. Y end stop mod. So I need this little thing with longer screws. Other than that, and it's got the pin mod. What would I do if I was to do this one? Well, let's compare the other one first. So in this one, oh, that one's got Zoll, Zoll on it, right? I said that. This one has um, Dragon Burner with the cat ears. They add speed, cat ears are for speed. Um, it also has a Sherpa Mini. I have BFI front idlers in this one. Uh, no pin mod, just regular screws. Um, this one is using tap. So can we give a side picture of that? Uh, so there's the tap on it. Um, what else is it running? It has the same Y um, end stop going on, the relocated Y end stop. Screws, not pin mod. Um, it's got the umbilical and it has the um, galvanic, the short one again. The, the, I've done a different video on the umbilical routing, but this one's going to the back. Um, I think I did this one to the back too. Uh, I may have routed something different. But that's the base of it. So they both have, uh, this one has inverted electronics. That one does not. I haven't got around to it. Um, I like the inverted electronics. So the mods I like, the mo if I was to build another one completely new, what would I do? Um, the mods that I like, I do like the inverted electronics because it makes it easier to get things so I don't have to um, flip the, the printer upside down. Um, oh, they all, oh, sorry. They also have the Mandela Roseworks kinematic kit. I like this one better than the, um, I think it's a whooping for cards one, because if I need to do something, I can literally take the bed off. Uh, it's got Wago connectors here for everything. So I just unhook the beds, the uh, ground, uh, live, neutral, and the thermistor. I take disconnect those from the Wagos, and I can pop the whole thing off. So that's what I like about this, um, the, this, this mount versus the uh, whooping for card, I believe it's his, um, kinematic is you have to unscrew it. I don't, you know, I got the electronics mod, I shouldn't have to be flipping this thing upside down. So what would I go with? I would go with the regular screws, if I was to build it again, I would go with the regular screws. They're, they're perfectly fine. You get no, I haven't seen a benefit in the, um, in the pin mods here so this is just perfectly fine it works for me i'd probably if i print pla which i do only really print pla i would go with the dragon burner because of the way that the uh, air ducts are it does better on overhangs that are on the back side of the model um, because of these ducts here it misses that back side of the model uh, of overhangs so i would go dragon burner if I had to choose between the two, all right, we're just looking at these. Um, I would go Rama, Rama front idlers, um, and that's because they are less likely to eat your belts than BFI. BFI is, is more finicky to make sure that the plane is straight, the, the plane of the belts is straight, because on this it's really easy to get that carriage out of whack, eat a belt. Um, the relocated YN stop, I keep that. Uh, what else? If I was gonna go 
um, double shear. So say you wanted to increase your tension, I would um, you'd have to I would do that the double shear. You use your Vitalis um, mod on that. Oh, there's some printed parts um, that you can do it with, um, but you'd have to adjust this back one here. You'd have to modify that part. Um, and I would keep the umbilical. I'd probably go cartographer beacon over tap because both of them cartographer and beacon. Let's go back over here. They both have touch now. So you don't necessarily need tap in my opinion. Um, so I would go cartographer beacon. And the way you would do that is you'd zip tie your cartel car beacon wire somewhere in here. And then once you, you bring it up to the umbilical and these ones would be zip tied as, as all along to keep them as kind of a unitary um, uh, or a monolith, mono, an integrated wire. You kind of want them to act the same. Your issue may be like this one, it has to be the umbilical is going to the back, but the Carto beacon wire is going in the front. Um, the you'd have to modify this back thing to send it also in the back. And if you did modify the back, I would have both wires going through the same hole. Um, because you want their you want these guys to share the same path. So I'd have them go through the same hole. Um, let's see. Personally, I would go cartographer. I mean, it's just cheaper. It's my, really, I'm, I'm, that's my only thing is why it's, it's cheaper. There, I haven't seen anything. This is one is better than the other. I haven't seen a comparison, so on that, I would go Carto. Um, if you go Carto or Beacon, I like the Vitali. Um, I have both the, the Cartographer's um, back, and I have the, the Vitali's back, uh, X carriage back. Uh, I think but Vitali is, if you change tool heads a lot, Vitali's is better because you can modify his spacing and, and that way you can set the different height of the uh, cartographer beacon. If you go cartographer's X carriage mount, you, you're you limited at two heights. One is the regular flow and then the ultra high flow, whatever it is, the extra things you can add on. It's much easier to modify um, Vitali's back. So I would go that. I mean, I, they both work good if depending on your tool head. But if you're a person that likes to take them off and on a lot and then the, the nozzle changes, you're, you're better off the tolly. If you're like me, you just stick it on and it takes a lot to stick that one on and it takes a lot to change it. Like something really has to come out better. Um, the cartographer is perfectly fine. And so that's, those are the mods. I, I, I don't, I have, you know, obviously the lights, right? Your lights pick whatever you want. Um, that's it. But those are the mods that I would do. Um, if I was doing ABS in these now, what would I do further? Right. So let's just say now I'm doing ABS because this is all PLA, no covers, nothing. Uh, definitely would get the um, backers, steel, titanium backers on the Y's and the X. Um, cookie clack door. I think I would do it. I think I would do the cookie clack door um, just because you know it would shut down up pretty good um that's about the only difference if i was going to go abs i'd put in my um i don't have them here but i would put in nevermores the ones that blow up i would refrain from trying to attach them to any sort of fans to this bed just because they could there's a lot of vibrations going on with going up and down right and stuff i i'd much rather be happier uh attaching them to the extrusion or putting the rat rig version of the Nevermore in, or the, um, oh god, the big one in the back, the ne Nevermore, I forget what it's called, I'd put that one in, but that's what I would do, the, uh, oh, the chamber thermistor, I wouldn't use anything on the head, on the tool head, I'd put in one of these here, and just run a, a, a thermistor up, you can see I have one there, and I have one there. I would just, I would just do this. Um, it, it's more accurate, I would say, than out the tool head because you got heat from the motors and those, and it's just there, and you kind of baseline it. Um, I'd probably, you can also put heaters in the extrusions into the circle there. 
Um, I, for printing ABS, I probably put covers on it, but that's what I would do. Um, and not a lot of mods for the Trident. You're depending on you know LDO. It's it's depending on how you set this up. You may have like five millimeters of travel behind it, so you may not be able to even get a brush in there. Um, I don't run a brush. I just you know just do the purge the line, um, and that's it. That's what I would do.